Tiana Kunivak here for Inside Carolina TV. I am joined by D lineman Nas Jones here after practice. Coach Fedora, as well as Coach Vic Koning, have said that the D line has really improved over the past two games, specifically the past two games. Are you guys seeing that as well? Where do you feel like the most improvement has been made? Uh, I think we just did a better job at stopping the run, which is always a goal of ours every week. So I think we just put more focus into that. We all put our mind to it to come together as a unit and get the job done. Coach Gilmore said that one of your biggest things that he wanted you to improve on was stopping the run. What have you done to, to do that? Well, basically, I just gained a lot of weight. I know I did a lot of uh, extra drills and things to work on my feet and hands to keep myself in position to not get blue out of the, my gap. So. Have you seen your personal improvement over the season? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, This year I had a couple of TFLs while I got in the backfield and I haven't got blown up yet. <laughs> so I think I've been doing a good job of it so far. You guys do have a lot of younger guys on defense. What have players like Ethan Farmer and Justin Thomas said to you to kind of keep your spirits up with the losing streak? Uh, you know, they just tell us to keep our head up, that this is, a, this is a journey and everything that happens, it happens for a reason. And as long as we stick together and keep fighting, uh, the season's going to end up uh, better off than it started. I did see UNC D lineman Kentuan Bomber after practice the other day last week talk to you. Looks like you guys were having a heated conversation. What yeah. kind of things did he have to say to you? Um, he was just telling me different kind of techniques and things I could use to better, better my talents or whatever to just help me get off the ball quicker and be in my gap faster and be able to make plays quicker. That's a guy from your area. I mean, what does that mean to you, having him give you advice and talk to you about that stuff? I mean, it was, it's real special. He always, he's been a big part of my life, especially in football, because he, of my era, he was the first one to go to Carolina to play college football, to go to the NFL. So all the guys that I played with, we always looked up to him, and I've always wanted to follow in his footsteps, and that's exactly what I'm doing now. When you look at this defense as a whole, where do you feel like you need to make the most improvement going forward? Um, as a defense? Yeah. Uh, I think we just need to come together and stop all the big plays. I think we do a good job um, in just keeping the yard, the get, the yard gainers uh, small, but at times we do lose our gaps or we have a busted coverage and it just doesn't go our way in the six points every time. So I think if we cut out the MAs and just come together as a team, we'll be fine. Slow starts seem to be an issue, especially on the defensive side of things. How do you go about fixing something like that? Not giving up the big plays at the beginning of the game. Um, I think we just need to these just need to be prepared at the beginning of the game. That's not not defensive scheme wise, but interpersonally. I think everybody needs to do their job to get that self psyched for the game. And no matter how we start off, whether it's a quick start or a slow start, we need to just come out and be ready to play off the gate. Notre Dame is a very highly ranked team you guys are playing up there. Do you think it's an advantage or a disadvantage that it is such a highly publicized game? I think it's an advantage for us because I think if we win this game and we go out and do what we got to do, it can turn our whole season around. I think these three losses that we have, or I think all of them would just go right under the rug if we get this win over a top 10 team. How have you seen guys respond to the losses and heading into Notre Dame? What is the feel right now, you think? I think everybody's excited. I don't think any of our players have been to Notre Dame before. I, I don't think uh, we played such a highly ranked team before. So I think everybody's excited to just be on that big of a stage and get their name out there.